All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Garden Guitar. We have Tom McDonald, me versus you. All right, this is a statement song, very strong. So we're gonna look at this one, and we're gonna do that with the capo set here on the fifth fret. That's the best scenario, absolutely. So put that capo on the fifth fret. Let's go with the chords, and I think we're gonna come to chords as they come. We have this main chord, I think we can do that already now, and then we will build up this twirl together. Let's start with A minor. Okay, so we're gonna work around the A minor pretty much through the entire song here. So that is open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. All right, so we're gonna look at the main parts now. And one strumming round, you can say, goes. So that is bass note, which is the open A string. And if you hold the chord, then you're gonna play second G, second D, second G, and first B. Pick those three strings together, a clap, and pick the strings again, D, G, and B. And that is one round. So. Okay, now you have different notes to emphasize. The first string around, you emphasize the first fret B string. Okay, so you hold the chord as it is. In the second round, you emphasize the open B string, which means you're gonna let that go now and hold just this. So the important string now is the B string throughout this main string pattern. So. First round is, second round is. The third round, you're gonna add the third fret B string now, okay? So the grip looks like this. Same pattern. And then on the fourth round, you go back to the original first fret B string. And that is one full round, so to speak. So it's a four, about four bars. The first one is, second one is, the third one is, and the first, fourth one is. So the note and the melody goes, first fret B string, open B string, third B string, and back to first B string. So there you have it. That is the main part. Then into the choruses. So the choruses happens in two places, I believe, here in this song at one minute and four seconds, but also in two minutes and 29 seconds. And the chorus starts with one round of the main melody still, so. And then on the next round, this is where the changes happen. So you're gonna start in the same way. So, still the A minor as it is with the first fret uh, B string, okay? And then on the second round, you're gonna go, that is to hold just the second fret A string and everything else down there, the D, the G and the B string is open. You follow the same pattern, so that will be second A, then open D, open G, open B together, clap, and open D, open G, open B together. That is the second bar. The third bar is this. You're gonna hold like a C chord. That is third fret on A string, second on D, open G and first B. Like this. You're gonna follow the same pattern now, just different grip. So that means, and that is third fret on A string. Then second G, D, open G, first B together, clap, and again, second D, open G, first B. That is the third bar, and the fourth bar goes like this. So it's basically in the same way as the third bar, but it goes third A string, and then you answer with the second D, open G, first B, the clap, but instead of picking those strings again, you just pick fourth frets on the E string. 
So reach out there with a little pinky or whatever you're going to use. And that is the end notes of that chorus. So the chorus started with a main part of. And then in the second, you go. And then the second bar goes. The third bar. And the fourth bar. So in tempo, everything builds in. You're going to play this for two rounds. So that means. That is a chorus. So then you go back to the main part again and play that one. Till you come to 2 minutes and 29 seconds into the song, you're gonna repeat everything else again with this chorus. Then after this second chorus, after you played it for the second time, we're now about 2 minutes and 49 seconds into the song. This is where the bridge happens, okay? Okay, this part goes like this. So that is to shift chords. You have A minor, one down. Then you're gonna play this part. And what you do there is to play another down on A minor. Then you go up to this grip. That's built upon the F, which you hold first fret E string in the bass, third A, and third D. You just hit the bass strings there, and then back to A minor. So you're gonna start like this, A minor, and then, and then you repeat that again. Okay, so first A minor, A, F, A, A, F, A, and then comes this B, you play that in the chorus part, remember? And then you're gonna go to C, and then you're gonna to go to this add a G note. And I believe when you hold the C like this, you just add the fourth fret on the E string and play a down stroke on that with the C built in. And that gives us more depth to it. So not all of the string, you could go with just the E fourth E string, but I use the strings below from the C chord to give a little more extra kick to it. And that ends one round of the bridge part. You're gonna play for two rounds. So I'm gonna take you through this a little bit slower in the standard tempo to understand what's going on. It goes like this. play that till the very end. All right, Tom McDonald, what a great song, Me Versus You. And uh, yeah, I hope really you enjoyed this. It was nice to do this one. And if you did, please give me a like on this one, support me here, subscribe to this channel, why not? If you like Tom McDonald, he will be back for sure. So hope you see you soon and play tuned.